If you guys are looking for more things to do here in Nassau, Bahamas, keep watching this video. We have more stuff to show you. If you guys are coming off the cruise ship, the first building you pass through is called Festival Place. It's an information center and they have restrooms there. So as soon as you pass that, you go into this little shopping area that's right here. standing in town square right now it's as soon as you get off the cruise ship and as soon as you enter the information building you come out and you have a statue right here you have town square and then across the street you have so here we have the parliament building on the right we have the senate in the center and then behind it we have the courthouse Street, which is right in front of Town Square, you're gonna find a lot of stores for souvenirs, alcohol, jewelry, Espandora, Gucci, and to name a few of the stores right here. We just booked a tour. We got the tour guide from right outside Town Square, and our first stop is Gray Cliff hotel and restaurant they have a hotel they have a restaurant they have a cigar factory they have a chocolate factory and they also have a wine distillery so let's go check that out first Cigar. This is where we bought this uh, cigar for our neighbor because <laughs> that's the only person we could think about that smokes and we don't smoke but this is the cigar factory where they make all the cigars at. We just moved across the street to the Great Cliff Wine Factory and it's a delicious taste of wine. They give you one free sample of white wine and if you want more samples, they are one dollar each. So we're at our second stop of the day for the tour. We're at the John Walton's Distillery. They make rum here and they also make red turtle vodka. Let's go. This is a piña colada sample from John Walton. And that is delicious. That is a piña colada right there. It's delicious. So it started off as a white rum from the field, then it turns into a really good. dark with the amber. And now it's oh, this one's really good. Really dark rum. We 
just made it to the island caves. Let's go inside and check it out. We're super excited to go in there. inside caves island better known as pirates caves and this place is awesome i just seen a bat fly by um they have some steep stairs right here see how steep that is right there you have to be very careful when coming in here there is a hole that is deep in there but we just made it to the very first initial uh, part Just drop us right here at the town square in downtown. Now we're gonna go to the beach. We just booked a taxi right in front of the town square area. It is four dollars if you're going to Paradise Island. That's where Atlantis is. We're actually headed to Cabbage Beach. So that's where we're going for four dollars a person. <laughs> Guys, we made it to Cabbage Beach. It looks so beautiful. We just got dropped off by the taxi. Here's what it looks like to the entrance. The entrance is right next to the Ryu Hotel. You just make your way down. There are no lifeguards here. We got a deal for our lounge chairs and our umbrellas. It was only 20 bucks. And then we got drinks. So we got four drinks for $20. They come in coconuts. I got mango flavor and then wife got cranberry and they are delicious. So while we were on our tour, we did stop by Baja Mar. That is the new area where they're building hotels. There's three hotels in that area. It still doesn't have a water park. That's why Atlantis is like the number one spot where everybody goes to, but they are building one in the near future. So maybe next time you guys come here to Nassau, Bahamas, it might be built already. So the prices are pretty decent. It's $300 and it is a nice hotel. So you guys decide if you want to stay there or not, but just thought I'd tell you because we stopped by during our tour. So now it's time to get in this beautiful warm water and I'm gonna find out if there's any fish here. Snorkel time. guys I was out there for like 30 minutes and I only saw one fish and I wasn't recording uh, so I hurried up and got down there and tried to record it so hopefully I got it for you guys I haven't checked the footage yet don't forget the Bahamas is always a wedding destination All right, you guys, the wifey Lulu, she ran over there to the wedding because she acted like she was invited. <laughs> she was one of the bridesmaids, uninvited or unofficially. And uh, the wedding did look nice though. All right, you guys, so we did not go to Atlantis this time. We went last time and that video is in the description box in case you guys wanna check it out. But I did not explain a super duper hack I have for you guys. We're not staying overnight like we did last time, but if you guys are staying in Nassau overnight, at 5 p.m., they stop checking for wristbands and room keys. So you could go straight into Atlantis. They don't even check you guys. So you're able to do all the water slides. They have the lazy river. You could do all that stuff after 5 p.m. because they don't even check your room key. So that's your guys' super hack for this video. And I didn't explain it in the last video, but now I am. 
So from this point at Cabbage Beach back to the cruise ship area, it's supposed to be $4 per person, but they are gonna try to hustle you guys because it's they know what time the cruise ships take off. So be aware of that. It's supposed to be four bucks. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed coming around with us today in Nassau, Bahamas. That's how we did it. Hopefully you guys have fun when you guys come here. Don't forget to hit that like button. That way this video gets shared out to more people. We will see you guys on the next video.